I'm Rob from Gaming Trend, and we are here at Gen Con with Matt from Direwolf, and he's going to show us a little bit of Clank Catacombs. Sweet. Uh, Clank Catacombs is the next iteration in the really popular Clank uh, deck building adventure series of board games. Okay. Uh, it's a standalone game, it's not an expansion, so everything you need comes in the box. Uh, and it's really got some exciting new stuff that takes Clank in some fun new directions that we haven't seen before. Like the biggest, that. the biggest thing that you'll see is that in catacombs there is no board, okay. uh, and instead your your dungeon delve, you're you're a thief trying to steal from a dragon's lair, which is being made in a haunted crypt. Right. Uh, and in catacombs, you start on the starting tile like this, and as you explore the dungeon, you will reveal new tiles, and the dungeon will grow around you. Okay. Fun little thing is that the dungeon only expands when you're about to move through a tunnel. <clears throat> you have to pick a tunnel when you don't know where it goes, and you'll flip the top tile on the stack, and you get to decide how it gets oriented. So gotcha. based, based on the cards in your hand and the resources you have and what you and your opponents are trying to do, there's a bunch of strategic choices that you can make in terms of where your path might be. Okay. So as you move down into the dungeon in catacombs, it's gonna expand and grow all around you. So what we have here, in the traditional clank, uh, you could, at the start of the game, you had perfect information about the map. You yep. could see where your target was. You could plan your route in, what artifact you're going to grab, how you're going to get out. You can't do any of that in catacombs. So rather than relying on the same strategies that you tend to use over and over again, you have to sort of improvise and make it up on the, on the fly every time. So it really captures that old school like RPG dungeon delve sure. experience where you don't know what's coming around the next corner. Okay. So as you move down into the depths, things get a lot more dangerous. And in particular, let's see if I can find one here. Here we go. One of the new mechanics in Catacombs is the tiles are haunted. Oh. They're ghosts lurking in the crypts. Okay. So when you awaken a ghost, we're going to take one of these white cubes and put it in the dragon bag. And then for the rest of the game, whenever that cube is drawn from the bag, all players take damage and the cube goes back into the bag. Okay. So what that means is, as you and your uh, thieving associates are moving through the catacombs, looking for treasure, getting up to mischief, and you start awakening more and more ghosts, you're gonna find that the bag escalates in difficulty and danger very quickly. And part of what's great about that is it really ties into the pressure luck mechanics that are inherent in Clank to begin with. Sure. Because it adds this new twist to it where if you go down that corridor, if you open that door, are you going to find a ghost? Is that going to be a bigger problem for you because you're being extra greedy as a thief? Sure. Uh, and it, it adds a, a sort of exciting tension to uh, the exploration component of the dungeon. Okay. One of the other fun new mechanics are there are no more keys. Okay. And instead, we have a series of lock picks. Ah. Each thief starts the game with three lock pick tokens. And as they go about exploring, they can use these lock picks to uh, open locked doors, there's probably one here somewhere, like this, okay. to uh, open treasure chests to find major secrets, rescue prisoners from jail cells, claim secret tomes. It's a resource that you can use to determine how greedy you want to be and what, you, what strategies you want to pursue. Okay. And one of the really fun challenges or questions that you get asked is when you're down to your last lock pick and you're standing in a room where you might be able to claim a secret tome for free, which is a bunch of points, seems like a great sure. idea. But you don't know how you're getting out of this dungeon. Are you going to need that lockpick later because you hit a door on your way out? So it's, it's another element of determining how aggressive you want to be, how greedy you want to be, and weighing that against how likely you think you are to escape. Okay. So there's some really fun stuff that's going on there. Uh, the other thing that you'll find, Catacombs is a standalone. Everything you need to play comes in the box, but it is fully compatible with all existing Clank expansions. Okay. So if you've already been collecting for a while, if you've already been playing Clank, anything you have you can already mix in and use here as well. Okay. The, the dungeon deck is entirely new, and there's some fun new stuff in there too, like the animated wall is a great example. Animated wall has arrive text that rotates tiles with players on them. Oh, wow. So as the dungeon comes to life, sometimes the path that you're on might change through no doing of your own. Okay. Maybe you thought you were heading for the exit and now you're being turned around and heading back in, or you take the opportunity to redirect an opponent away from a valuable treasure. There's fun stuff like that that add little twists and dynamic challenges that you need to respond to on the fly 
as the the game unfolds and your your path progresses down into the depths. Sure. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really great. We're super excited. <clears throat> the response here at Gen Con has been overwhelming. We ran a bunch of events. Okay. So players, the first time ever, got to play Catacombs over in the event hall and uh, absolutely loved it. We've got a pre-order open now on our website at direwolfdigital.com, and they'll be those will be shipping, and we'll be getting it into game stores in Q4, okay. uh, probably in November. And what, what kind of price point are we looking at? For? $60. $60? Yeah. You get everything that comes in the box? You get everything. November time frame? Yep. I mean, sounds like a lot of fun to me. You talked about a little bit of uh, of, of the lock picking and mm -hmm. dungeon delving, and I got kind of a uh, and and not knowing where you're going, I got kind of like a Diablo feel from sure. it. Like you're maybe you're getting away from enemies. You open that door, and there's a whole bunch more. In sure, it. sure. The thing Something that's like great that. about so the way the, cool. the thing that's great about the way the map unfolds is that on one hand. It's, uh, you know, it gets into some feelings of procedural generation or randomness because it's sure. totally refreshed, a totally new map experience every time you play. Sure. But it's not really random because every time you flip a tile, you as a player get to make a strategic choice of how the tiles get positioned. Right. And there's a lot of depth that goes into that. So the, you know, the inputs might change from game to game in terms of the order in which tiles flip. Sure. But you as a player are always in control of where your paths lead and what options are unfolding. So. You're never going to play the same game twice. You're always going to have a new set of challenges to overcome and paths to explore. And that's part of what makes Catacombs so exciting. Awesome. Uh, well, I'm very excited to actually see it in person. Very excited to hear about it. Yeah. Uh, looks fantastic. Looks like you got another hit. Well, you know, we're, we're going to knock wood on that. We're, we can't wait for players to get their hands on it everywhere. Uh, the initial response has been really overwhelming and really amazing. I uh, think it'll be very good. And we're, we're looking forward to getting getting more copies out into the world and hearing what fans think. Oh, well, we look forward to seeing it. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah.